Number 16, write the mathematical expression for the reaction quotient QC for each of the following reactions. And then we have this one. So we have to find the QC for S8 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 8S gas. So the QC formula is a very generalized formula. It mimics the KC formula. It's this one right here. Once you guys get familiar with this formula, you're just going to say that it's products divided by reactants. Just know that the C is concentration, stands for concentration, aka molarity values, and the way we denote that we're using molarity is we put them in this bracket. So anytime that you see brackets, you're using molarity, okay? So your products, your reactants, for each one of them, you raise it to the coefficient, aka the big numbers in the front of each compound or molecule in your balanced equation. But now there are rules. If you're using a QC formula, only aqueous substances and gases are allowed. No solids and no liquids. So first always check the states. But in this case, I have gas and a gas. Since all gases are allowed, both of these are going to be in the QC formula. So I'll give a check for this reactant and I'll give a check for this product. Now we're ready to write the formula. Ooh, QC equals... I'll put the division sign first, and then let's go for it. Products divided by reactants. So what is the element here, right? The element is just the S. So I'm going to put bracket. I'm going to put the S. I'm going to close the bracket. You don't have to put the states anymore. The states were just used to say who is allowed in the QC formula. And now you got to raise it to the coefficient. Oh, there was an 8 in the front. Remember, the coefficients are the big numbers in the front. So I will have to raise this to the 8th. That's the only product. So now we go to the reactant. There's only one molecule here, which is S8. So I'm going to bracket. This is S8. Close the bracket. And now, what is the big number in the front? Well, there was none. Oh, that means that I just had one. So you can write the one up here, but remember, anything raised to the first is the same number. So you're done. That's it. How easy is that, guys? This is your QC formula specifically for this balanced equation. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. We're almost getting close to actually working with numbers with these. So hang tight, all right? Um, yeah, keep studying hard, and I'll see you in later lessons. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.